Honestly, what did you think about the Pocatano Beach, Happy? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel from the sunny Positano. Yes, this is the second stop on our European honeymoon. So if you already watched my Santorini vlog, you know that we had a fabulous time there. And our second stop is the Amalfi Coast and we based ourselves in Positano. We just arrived this afternoon and it's just a spectacular day. Apparently it's gonna rain for the next two days, but we are here for four days. So hopefully we do get a couple of sunny days as well. So we don't have too much planned, uh, but but um, I just want to relax, soak up the sun, enjoy the water, the beach and the Italian culture really. It's just so easy going. It's you know, been three years since I've been here last time so it's just really nice to be back. So the plan for today is uh, we only have half a day so we're gonna go down to the beach, have a little swim. So I'm wearing my Hermes swimsuit for the first time and the cover-up that I got from the Hermes sale which I think is just so nice for Positano. And I'm just taking my little beach bag from Fendi. You guys know that I love this bag as a little easy-going cute summer bag So I've just got a couple of things in there just a little pouch a lip balm and a couple of you know Waterproof phone pouches then we're just gonna have dinner somewhere and by the way in terms of hotel We're actually staying at two different places because I didn't know that Positano hotels got booked up so fast So we had to split up our days into two hotels so that we got decent hotels So we're staying here at this Villa Rosa for a night and then we're moving to a different place tomorrow so anyway let's head down to the beach and enjoy the sun and before we head out let me just show you how nice the view is from our room balcony you can see the whole Positino obviously I would have loved to stay in that red building which is called the uh, La Sierra News I had a look and it was like ten thousand dollars for three nights so you know I'm a reasonable person and uh, I didn't want to do that but this place we're staying is actually right across the road from that one so the location is just as good just really obsessed with that view so we just came down to the beach and um, splurged on some paid chairs. It's a bit overcast today, but it's still nice and warm. So I think we're gonna go in the water soon, but check this out. I am just really enjoying this view. So yeah, we're gonna have a little dip soon and just relax for the rest of the afternoon. warm but I think I like the Sydney beach better yeah I think we're so spoiled with the Australian beaches yes in Sydney the water is a bit cooler but the sand is so soft and white the feet hurts so much from all the pebbly dark sand uh, couldn't even stand it was still a nice experience and these chairs cost us how much 60, 60 euros, euros for the both of us um, we got those photos definitely worth it. It is a honeymoon so we had a nice time but I don't think we need to do it again. Um, I still love the Positano vibes, love the culture but I don't think we need to do this again. We might just use the free side tomorrow if we want but yeah that's our honest opinion. Okay on the way up got ourselves a little lemon slushy. It's actually very refreshing so that's keeping us going going up all these stairs. We just casually strolled out to have some dinner. We literally had no plans whatsoever, so we just came out and moved into a restaurant with a nice view. So our drinks have just come out. I ordered the pina colada. Just felt like a nice little cocktail. Have you got Corona beer as usual? The view is actually quite nice. We didn't get a window seat, obviously, because we didn't book or anything, but 
it's got really nice vibes. Having more pasta for dinner. So I got the bolognese tagliatelle. Tagliatelle. And we have the gnocchi. Gnocchi. Salad. French fries. Anyway, bon appetito. Good morning guys, it is day two here in Positano and as you can see, it's a bit of a gloomy day. So we're starting the morning with breakfast on our balcony at our hotel which is beautiful. We've got some croissant, got some omelette, uh, fresh fruit, coffee, juice, very very excited. So it was raining just about half an hour ago so everything's pretty wet so we thought about just eating inside but it's just so nice outside here and the weather's actually quite nice, it's not too hot and it's actually not cold at all. So we decided to just wipe everything and still enjoy the Positano moment. The plan for the day was to take a ferry to Capri today, but apparently if the weather doesn't hold up, they'll cancel all the ferries to Capri since, you know, Positano Wharf is quite small. So fingers crossed we can still make it to Capri, but if not, we'll find some things to do in Positano on a rainy day, which I'm not sure what you can do. Mia, we're gonna eat our breakfast and start the day now. So guys, we had the breakfast and had to check out of the hotel and we moved to our new accommodation. Like I said, because we booked kind of late. So we were so pleasantly surprised at how nice this place is. It's a little old, but I'd like to call it a bit more sort of like classic Italian. It's like a service department. So there's a washing machine and everything, which will be really great because, you know, we have a whole lot of washing after Santorini. Um, so let me just show you around this apartment. So this is the entry. As you come in, you can see all our luggage there. There's a little console table and then you've got this massive lounge area. Like I said, it's very old school, but we love it because it's a true Italian experience. And look how high the ceilings are. It's just very dramatic. Um, and then this is the dining area. And the dining table is quite big and this is the first window and you can see the beautiful Positano view and when you spin around there's a TV and then there's a whole balcony area so you open the door look at that you can see the Positano sea the beautiful Positano view and we are gonna go back inside a little fireplace there's a whole kitchen oh there's happy doing his own little documentation we've got the sink a little coffee machine a washing machine even like a little pantry area and this is the bedroom nice and blue very very amalfi coast-esque and then there's also a tiny little balcony in the bedroom as well. And that is the view from the bedroom balcony. So guys, I have to say, as you can see, it's pretty high up. So it is a good 15 minute hike down to the beach area where everything is basically happening. Um, and there are lots of stairs. So the previous hotel, which is called Villa Rosa, it was a little less um, space but it was ideally situated. Um, you know, they're only like six, seven minutes apart away from this apartment, but that many less steps. So it was pretty easy to go down to the beach from Villa Rosa. But then today, the apartment that we're staying in for the next three nights, I think we're gonna brace ourselves to walk down. I mean, for Positano, this is probably not the worst. I've heard, you know, people having to walk down 30 minutes to get to the beach area. So I think it's still reasonable, but definitely not an easy walk. Other than that, really, really happy with this place. By the way, this place is called Palazzo Margarita and the host was so amazing, Moro. So now we're all settled into our new accommodation. Today, we really wanted to go to Capri, but our host Moro didn't recommend it because the weather looks a little fickle and it might thunderstorm later. So there's rain forecast for today and tomorrow. So we're just gonna have to take it easy and have a real, you know, relaxed Italian vacation here for the next two days and just don't have any plan just go eat nice things and just relax and then we have another day after that which is meant to be sunny so hopefully we'll still get to go for a little day trip to 
Capri. So for now that is the plan and I'm just gonna go and relax a little. Okay, so we have decided to head to the grocery store. We need to get the washing detergent for the washing machine and we'll just see what great Italian groceries they have. Look what we found at the Italian groceries. How random. There's a Korean noodle. So many different types of pastas. Bread. Okay, we should get something to eat for breakfast tomorrow. Delis. That's yogurt. Maybe I'll get yogurt. Found the snack. Never seen this. You look so happy. This is our grocery shopping haul. <laughs> Since we're staying at a service department, it's really nice that we can do a variety of things. We're not so restricted. Oh my goodness, the lady at that grocery store, she's so sweet. So loved that. So we got breakfast for tomorrow, which is brioche and true croissant. And then this is the snack that hubby found. He just loves Nutella. So we went to actually grab the washing detergent. So we grabbed that. And I always need to have some sort of probiotic or yogurt in the morning. So I got some Italian yogurt. And this, we got a panini for lunch because we're staying in today. This is all made from local produce apparently. So the nice lady hand made it herself with some homemade mozzarella, tomatoes and prosciutto in bread. So that is our little grocery shopping haul. Nothing much, but I mean, let me just show you the view one more time. Um, yes, so we're gonna eat lunch and all of this came to 19 euros, which I thought was reasonable considering how many things we got. Okay, we just had one of these Nutella biscuits. It is amazing. I think we're gonna go. It's so good. It's so nice. It's so nice. If we had more space in the luggage, I would actually totally buy some and bring them home. So they just look like this and there's a whole lot of Nutella in between underneath that top bit. Oh, so delicious. So after lunch, we had a little bit of a rest and decided to come down for a bit to the pier area to check out ferries for tomorrow. So hopefully we can make it to Capri and uh, strolling through the streets of Positano. to the ticket place for the ferries um, these are the times but as expected they were actually closed today so we couldn't have gone to Capri anyway but we're gonna come down and see if they're open tomorrow at least we know where to come so then we decided to have the lemon sorbet I had this with mom when I came a few years ago so just got memories and I just wanted to have it again it's from this place here which is right by the pier you take the lid off and inside is filled with this yummy gelato stopped over at a bigger grocery store to see if we can actually see the Malfi lemons there are lemons and look how big they are so that's my hand and the lemon is almost as big as my hand. Ooh, and the tomatoes, we might actually grab some of these cherry tomatoes to go with breakfast tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Can we have half of Yes. Them? Yeah, we can have half. Okay. Yeah, I came out to this 
place called Rock for Dinner. They specialize in pizza and uh, meat, steak. Um, but we feel very underdressed. Um, but yeah, dinner time. Diavola pizza and um, this one had something positano. It's got the chili shrimps. Thank you. And then we've got seasonal vegetables. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. Buongiorno, day three in Positano. We're finally able to head to Capri today, but we're going to have a short day in Capri because the late ferries are cancelled due to rough sea conditions. So we are only going to have about three or four hours in Capri. So today we're not going to do anything touristy. We're going to look around, stroll around the streets, maybe check out some of our favorite designer stores. And tomorrow, go back and do the Blue Grotto and go up the Cable Tie and all of that. It's very noisy in the ferry at the moment, um, so I'll talk to you guys when we get to Capri. There's a new day to take away your sorrow. Okay, the sea was so rough, got a bit seasick, so I had to sit at a cafe for about a good half an hour, but now we got in the taxi to go to Like pink. pink and open roof. It's great. Maybe I can call you from the love. Maybe we can find a way to start. Checked out a few of the uh, designer stores, but most of the stores were quite small and um, I wasn't too familiar, so we kind of went in and out. Probably got to try his uh, AP watches, which was good. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, we didn't buy anything. I think we're gonna wait until we get to Paris to shop properly. But we found this really nice restaurant. It's called Polali, and it's kind of upstairs from the square. And you can see these amazing views, so we're really happy that we found this restaurant. Also, this was the um, drink that the waiter recommended. It's um, a very Italian drink, the Rata. Um, it's actually quite nice. It's not too sweet, it's mildly sweet, and it's the perfect lemony color. So, really enjoying my drink. And I got a bit seasick on the way here, so I'm not gonna drink any alcohol now because that, that's the last thing I need um, to, you know, on the way back to Positano on the ferry again. By the way, this is what we got for my seasickness because we do need to catch the ferry back to Positano in about a couple of hours. So apparently this is for seasickness in case any of you need it. So many people on the ferry were sick as well, so they probably got very busy at the pharmacy today. So hopefully I'll be okay on the way back. Our food came out. This is the chef special and this is the zucchini linguine. So this is our little lunch. This pasta is so good. The actual pasta is still like, how do you say this? It's like, it's really bouncy when you chew on it. It's just, yeah, I really like it. It's not soggy or anything. And yeah, it's beautiful. We'd definitely come back here if we came back to Capri. Taking the cable car down to Marina Grande again to catch the ferry back to Positano. It was two euros 20 per person one way. Much cheaper than the cab that we took earlier, which was 30 euros. was so much faster and cheaper than the cab so once you arrive at Marina Grande you just turn around and it was right there to catch that so we know for next time 
Hey guys, so this is turning into a bit of a mukbang vlog because I seem to be filming when we're eating a lot, but I guess that's a big part of relaxing and having a vacation. Um, so for dinner tonight, we came to this restaurant called Ristorante Adamo and Eva. It's got a spectacular view of Positano as you can see, and then on the other side you can actually see the Amalfi Sea. We order some pasta and some fish and um, some mojitos and we will just relax here for a little bit. So we have the shrimp risotto, sea bass fish and linguine with all these uh, beautiful seafood. We got our mojitos and overlooking this beautiful And we're just sharing the one dessert. This is called Eve's Original Sin. And it has lemon mousse with white chocolate icing. With berries. And some berries. And biscotti down the bottom. And biscotti down the bottom. Good morning guys, it is day four today in Positano. And today we decided against going back to Capri because it's the last full day that we have here and it was between one of the two things either going back to Capri to the Blue Grotto and do some touristy things or doing the famous hike called Path of God where you can see beautiful Amalfi Coast views and because I got so seasick yesterday on the ferry we decided maybe we'll go back to Capri another time when we come back to Europe there's always gonna be next time but while we're still young and fit we should do the hike Path of Gods because it is a good two to four hour walk and we kind of just wanted to do that. So we do need to first get to um, a different place called No Cell. So we need to figure out a transport to get there. We're starting a little bit later, so it might get really hot, but it's okay, we'll still manage. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna share with you the beautiful views along the coast. First, it is a beautiful day. This is the sunniest day that we've had in Positano. So before I leave, let me show you the beautiful sunny Positano views. This is just from our balcony. You can see a huge difference between the previous couple of days and today. Oh, the sun just makes everything so much better. And now let's go hiking. So we've just got to the bus stop eating our breakfast. It's just the chocolate croissant. And got myself a cappuccino from the mini market. We are actually catching the bus to no cell to do the walk from there. Okay, it is an adventure. We've gotten on the bus and heading to no cell. Goodness, even the view from the bus is breathtaking. We're actually so glad we're taking this bus ride, and it was so much cheaper than getting a taxi. It was one euro thirty a person from Positano to Nice. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. We got to no cell and this is the view from the bus stop. Just gonna finish eating my breakfast before we start walking on the path of God. What makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of? I wonder. So technically the path of God stretches all the way from No Cell to Bomarano but um, we've spoken to some people that were heading back from Bomarano and they said you go two thirds of the way and you see mostly the best of it so we're going to aim to go a little more than halfway turn back walk back and catch the bus back I'm sure there'll be much nicer views along the way but we are enjoying every minute of it. Is that blue like the sanctuary blue? I think it's still a bit different. So this is one of the first beautiful lookouts apparently. There are a couple a more. A bit dangerous, but I think we can all manage. Oh look, there's the bus. Where's the bus? Oh, so cute. Wow, spectacular. It's amazing. Yeah. We oh. came higher up. On the fucking on the lens. There's Positano. Wow. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down? 
when it's gray outside It really makes me wonder Candy to get our sugar levels back up. The lemon candy that we bought at a Positano store. Look at that water sparkling. Okay, going back, you just get the Positano and the coastline view all along. So definitely more picturesque going backwards uh, towards No Cell. So if you started in Pomarano and coming down towards No Cell, the whole time you'll have this beautiful view. We just finished the walk. We went a little bit past the halfway and came back. It took us about three hours because we stopped a lot for photos and videos. Um, so we're back at the bus stop at No Cell. Got ourselves lemon slushy. This looks amazing. And we've got about 25 minutes until our bus comes. So we'll see you back in Positano. That little cart is where we got the lemon slushy from. Guys, so we just came back to our apartment and it was so beautiful up at the Path of Gods. I definitely, definitely recommend anyone to do that hike. It was pretty tough, but it was definitely worth seeing all these magical views along the way. So I was so glad we did that. It's about three in the afternoon. So we're just gonna have a very quick lunch, have a bit of a rest, clean up, have a shower, and then this is going to be our last night here in Positano and then we're flying to Paris tomorrow. So we're going to try and enjoy um, our last Positano night after. We've decided to have a little snack. So we've got some grape tomatoes that we got from the groceries yesterday. And then I cut up the lemon that we bought. Um, it smells really good and it is one fine day. So we're going to enjoy this view, have the little healthy snack, replenish our vitamin C and relax. This is our last night in Positano and it's just so beautiful at our balcony that you know what we decided to just stay in you know sing some great songs classics and just enjoy ourselves and have a bit of a champagne that was given to us by the accommodation which was really really generous anyway so it was just so beautiful today so I just wanted to show you guys the beautiful Positano at sunset and we're heading off to Paris tomorrow, so I just want to say thank you so much for coming along to Positano with us and I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Cheers! Bye guys! <laughs>